So, hello everyone. Uh, happy to be here in Javantura event. Uh, happy to be in Croatia for my first time. And uh, we're going to see the Java challenge today. And uh, we're going to be uh, exploring some Java 9 and Java 10 concepts. Um, OK, so let's go. All right. OK, sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to go back. OK, guys, so uh, we are having an interactive session today. And uh, for making this work, we're going to have to uh, enter in this uh, website, myquiz.org, so if you can access now, uh, myquiz.org, and then you use that code. So you can answer to the challenge. So we're going to do, uh, uh, we're going to show here some Java questions, and then uh, you're going to respond to each challenge. So tell me when you are ready, so we can start. Yeah, I can, I can, I can start the quiz. <laughs> okay. Uh, just started the quiz. Okay. So I'm gonna have to use the computer. Okay, so that's me. Uh, the topics we're going to see today is uh, interface, optional reactive streams, try with resources, and take on while. Take, take uh, and drop while. So, just talk a bit about me. So, I'm from Brazil, uh, became a Java champion uh, last year. Uh, quiz master in Dev Gym, creator of Java Challenger series in Java World, and I'm creator of No Bugs Project and author of the book No Bugs No Stress. I'm gonna have to go here again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the first challenge. So I'm gonna give you a brief of the challenge. So it's about uh, interface. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to have here the, so we have a default method, a private method, a static, um, another private method. And uh, we have a main method here. So I just want to know what it, what's going to be the output. So I'm going to give you um, two minutes. Okay, I can see some answers. Okay, so the answer, as you can see, is D. Um, and let's see why. So, 
Uh, the first thing that's important to realize here is that we are using a string delimiter. So Jedi uh, is going to be uh, actually in the middle. So it would be look. So we would apply a function here. And uh, it would be s from use saber and f from use force. So yeah, and here it, we would just concatenate the Yoda string. So the, the most important things here are that we can't override a private method. Um, we can use private methods on Java 9. And uh, we can use more than one default methods if you want. OK, this is the second one. Uh, it's about optional. Um, and uh, OK, Let's start here. So I started the quiz, so you can answer now if you want. Um, so basically, we have uh, optional of nullable. And then um, we have uh, the or else method, and then or else get. And here we have uh, or else throw. And here is just uh, basically uh, we are transforming a string to capital case. So I'm going to give you some time to answer this one. OK, let's see the answer. So it's C. Um, let's see why. So the first thing that's uh, happening here uh, is that the concatenation happens first. 
with an empty string. So even though we go to that method, uh, get vision from Oracle, the string will be lost because at first we concatenated with an empty string. Another thing to realize here is that the or else method um, is being, um, so when we use a method inside the or else function, uh, it's gonna be invoked. Even if the um, or else method is not supposed to be uh, executed. So the get vision from Oracle will be run. So the mat matrix count is gonna be one and uh, the key maker will be lost. So, and in the second method, uh, when we use or else get, uh, it's gonna, it's not gonna invoke this uh, get vision from Oracle. So the count will be just one. Um, and yeah, uh, in the next try block, it's just an or else throw. So um, as uh, new is no, uh, it's gonna throw a uh, illegal argument exception. And in the last sentence is gonna be just um, Trinity in a capital case. And that's it. So yeah, the, the points, or else get, or else, or concatenation order. So this is about reactive strings. It's a bit tough. Uh, just gonna give you a brief. So um, we have uh, the class beer pourer. So it's about Simpsons. It's very, it's a bit funny. Oh, sorry. Maybe it's the internet. Um, Can you answer now, or is it still paused? Still. Sorry about that, guys. It's about it's the internet. Um, we're gonna have to move on. Um, okay. So yeah, we are using a beer drinker. So it's basically a subscriber. So this class will subscribe to the um, beer pourer and then gonna have some actions. So yeah, in the meantime, I'm gonna try to um, make it run. If not, I'll just ask you just to raise your hands what alternative you, you think it is. Okay, let's see the answer then. So it's B. So why it's B? Um, so we are, um, in the second statement, we are um, instantiated the beer drinker um, class. And then we subscribe a drunken hobo to Mo. And then um, we are going to uh, iterate each one of them and then uh, we're gonna execute the logic. And so the trick is here that 
we can't invoke the request method uh, with uh, zero or less than that. So um, one thing that will happen here, it's going to go to uh, error method callback. And uh, it's going to first um, print Homer, and then no beer. Um, and then it's going to go just, as always, Mo get the shotgun and uh, just remove everyone from the tavern. OK. And that's pretty much it. It's quite complex. Um, we're going to have to, I mean, to learn, to absorb this concept, have to get the code, analyze, run your tests so that you can absorb that. Uh, I know here it's really tough to respond to this one. Um, OK. I can, I can provide the code to you in, in the end of the presentation. OK. So one thing is important to mention here is, is an asynchronous process. Um, it's uh, the plus plus operator uh, when we use the plus plus operator after the variable. Um, it will increment after you execute the line. Um, and the request method has to be invoked with a positive number. OK, so this is the try with resources um, challenge. And um, we have some concepts from Java 9. And um, yeah, Java 7. Um, so yeah, we have this, the, the method execute action. So we are passing a closable and auto closable. Um, and you see that those classes are being passed in the try block. Um, and then we are invoking the close method. So you see the static classes, they are implementing closable and auto closable. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to give you some time. OK, so who thinks it's OK? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fine.
Okay, now you can answer in the app if you want. Okay, guys, we are almost out of time. I'm going to give you more 10 seconds. Okay, so let's do the answer. It's C. So let's see why. So important things here is that uh, the we are just able to pass the auto-closable uh, in a decoupled mode in Java 9. So in Java uh, 7, we've had to declare the closable um, variable inside the try block. Now we don't need to do this anymore. So this brings us, uh, we can um, just make the code more decoupled because we can use a dependency inversion uh, concept, for example. Um, and uh, so one thing that's important to mention here is that uh, the Wolverine uh, class will be the the close method will be start will uh, start from Wolverine. So in the try block, always the the second um, the second closable uh, instance will be invoked. Will invoke the the close method. So that's why um, um, Wolverine is executed first. So. And even still, it's going to throw I.O. exception. Uh, the try with resources method has to close the resources. So it's going to close whatever happens. It has to close the, the resources. So it's going to go to Peter Parker class, and uh, it's going to execute it as well. Um, OK. And, and one thing that's important to mention here is that the catch block is, is uh, executed after the, the try block. OK? So let's see the other one. So closable can be passed from outside since Java 9. Uh, close method is invoked after the try block. And no need to use finally. So we don't need to use finally anymore with uh, Java 7 try with resources. OK. So this is take, uh, take and drop while. So we have two lists, um, have a list and a set. And then we are using the take while and drop while method from Java 9. And I'm going to give you some time to answer this one. OK. 66% um, um, of you got the answer right. So congratulations for that. Uh, so it's 7 and random values. So why random values? Because set is a, um, it's an ordered. So it's impossible to predict. So another thing in the take while method is that there is a break. So uh, in the first method, in the first string there, uh, it's um, 
while take while i is greater than 5. So i is going to be 9, so it will take. It will be 7, it will take as well. And then i is greater than 1. No, it's not. So it, it breaks. So it takes just 9 and 7. And then and drop while is the, the opposite. It's going to drop while the condition is true. So the drop while will get the 9 and 7. And um, so drop while i is greater than 8. So it will drop uh, 9. And just 7 will be there for sure. And then in the next one will be always a random value because there's no way to, um, to predict what's going to be the, the set um, order. It's an order ar array. But one thing that's important to mention about the set interface is that if we use that, if we need to do some logic that we need a unique value, we can use a set. So it's always, so why I present the Java challenge? Because I believe that if we know strongly the deep Java core concepts, we can uh, create a better software because we uh, will not um, prevent the wheel. If we know the API, if we know, for example, oh, set has unique elements, so um, we can just use set. We don't need to create a logic with several ifs and several things. So we can just reuse what we have ready in the Java API. OK, so um, take a while will break when the condition is false. Set interface has an ordered element. And flat map will just uh, join the streams here. OK, so what we covered here was uh, interface, optional, reactive streams, try with resources, take and, and drop while. Um, and um, let's see here. OK, so um, I know um, the presentation is just the beginning. So um, if we don't uh, give you a follow-up, I think it's uh, the presentation wouldn't be uh, um, as successful as it, it could be. So that's why I'm offering you the free ebook. Uh, you can just access nobugsproject.com. And then uh, there's going to be a, a pop-up. And then just um, put your mail there, and they're going to receive the book. And uh, I'm going to be um, sending you weekly Java challenge. So I publish Java challenge videos. Uh, I also am publishing Java Challenge on uh, Java Dev Gym, Oracle Dev Gym. So um, I strongly recommend you to download the book. And then we can uh, talk. You can send me an email. And uh, if you get the book, I'm going to send you the, the code from this presentation so you can make your own tests. Because uh, I mean, I've, we had short time here. Um, I couldn't. Um, share everything. I could give you a brief of what is, uh, what are the Java challenges, and uh, well, if if you can um, just um, get subscribed and get uh, just be part of No Bugs Project, we can uh, talk and we can can send me an email, and uh, we can make it more meaningful, and. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. Um, do you guys have any questions? Have two minutes. <laughs> we can talk offline if you want. Just reach me, you can talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, this this uh, method, uh, it will um, make all the elements unordered. And, and they are, one thing that's important to mention about that is that uh, 
they are all immutable, so we can't add any element on this uh, on this API. This is precisely why it can be optimized. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because you can do a, a perfect hash. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. That's it, guys. Uh, it's it's time. Thank you very much.